if mantle wind blows through a slab window beneath Panama? We're talking about volcanic gases. This reminds me of the uh, oracle in Delphi. She would sit over a uh, crack in the earth where uh, there would be uh, various methane and volcanic gases being emitted. She would get dizzy and be in a state of stupor and uh, an altered state of consciousness where she would babble out various uh, uh, prophecies, oracles. Now this is by Woods Hole Oceanic Institute. Volcanic gases are helping researchers track large-scale movements in Earth's deep interior. Woodhull Oceanographic Institute, WHOI, scientists together with a group of international collaborators have discovered anomalous geochemical compositions beneath Panama. This interdisciplinary team used helium isotopes and other geochemical data from fluids and rocks to show that volcanic material is sourced from the Galapagos plume over 900 miles, that's 1,500 kilometers away. The findings of the study, high helium-3 and 4 helium in central Panama reveals a distal connection to the Galapagos plume, were published today in the journal Proceedings of the National Academic of Science. The lateral transition of plume material represents an understudied mechanism that scatters enriched geochemical signatures in mantle domains for, far from plumes, said David Backert, postdoctoral scholar at WHOI. He's the lead author of the paper. He says, we can compare volcanic systems to the body of a living organism. When the organism bleeds, it's kind of like magma bleeding out of the earth, and you can measure the composition of that magma, just like you can measure a blood type. I finally support my Patreon account, the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So they can uh, do that, just like you can measure a blood type. In this study, they said, we measured an unexpected volcanic gas composition, Sort of like when you, when a human has a rare blood type, in the case of the Earth, when they try to explain where it came from in terms of deep geological processes. The team showed that relatively hot material originating from Earth's deep interior travels laterally through the shallow mantle, similar to wind blowing at Earth's surface. The chemical observations were combined with geophysical imaging of Earth's deep interior to point, pinpoint the source and direction of the so-called mantle wind, quote-unquote. Typically, material cannot easily pass through a subduction zone where the edge of a tectonic plate called a slab acts as a barrier. However, the region beneath Panama is unusual in that there appears to be a slab window, quote-unquote, that allows this mantle wind to blow through. Overall, this study tells us that even after billions of years of evolution, our planet remains a dynamic system marked by large-scale movements of solid material miles beneath our feet. Backer said, exotic volcanic chemical features have previously been documented in Central America. We use these chemical characteristics as indications for large geological processes. In this case, our findings help, help explain why plume-derived volcanic material shows up in Central Panama even though there are no active volcanoes there. Okay, so the plume goes lateral and uh, that the gases come out. He said, our work suggests that small bits of deep mantle material were carried by mantle wind, blowing through the window in the subduction zone. Broadly speaking, this informs us about the nature and extent of large scale mixing processes that contribute to the heterogeneous or diversified nature of the solid earth, said Peter Barry, assistant scientist at uh, Woods Hole uh, Oceanic Institute, senior author of this paper. Many of the study samples were collected over the past 15 years, but only in light of the insights from other disciplines of geoscience, such as geophysics and lava studies, did the message from helium isotopes become clear. The geochemical composition of Earth's interior is highly diverse, it's been well established that rising plumes of superheated rock in Earth's mantle are the main channels 
for transporting geochemically enriched material deep underground, but the extent to which lateral flow processes dispersed mantle material far from vertical plumes remains widely unknown. The finding of lateral transport of deep exotic material across the Earth's interior could have far-reaching implications for scientists' understanding of the chemical evolution of our planet over geological time. This was uh, by David Beckert and uh, et al. colleagues, helium-3-4, three, three, uh, helium helium-4 in central Panama reveals a distal connection to the Galapagos plume, published in National Academy of Sciences in 2021. This is a new uh, uh, today's um, article by Woods Hole Oceanic Institute on FIS.org. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.